The weatherback sea turtle is the largest species of its kind on Earth, and they actually date back to dinosaurs and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. But in the Pacific Ocean, they may soon go extinct. News Nation correspondent Nancy Liu reports from Monterey, California. The scenic coast of Central California is just weeks away from the return of leatherback sea turtles from their epic migration across the Pacific. It is an animal that has been on the planet for nearly 80 million years in its present form. Researchers who've been tracking these ancient animals are eager to see how many show up. Hopes are not especially high. Help. This population has declined 80 percent in 30 years. Scott Benson is with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and he's a leading researcher on Pacific leatherbacks. For centuries, perhaps tens of thousands of these massive sea turtles would migrate in to gorge on all the jellyfish, especially near Monterey and Marin counties. But aerial surveys in recent years put the average number foraging off California at just 55. We're really running out of time before this population could be extirpated. And extirpation means essentially extinction in a particular spot. So this would be extinction in the Pacific Ocean. The pandemic has complicated the conservation. It has the main research vessel out of the water at the Moss Landing Marine Lab, which is part of San Jose State University. With a year lost, the transmitters that were placed on leatherbacks back in 2019 are no longer sending data. Okay, that's it. Society's voracious appetite for seafood is perhaps the biggest threat. Every year, there are fewer leatherbacks making their epic migration of about 7,000 miles between the shores of Indonesia and the California coast. In South Asia, there's been poaching and the critical loss of nesting grounds. And in the open waters of the Pacific, many die getting caught in traps or commercial fishing nets. The impact of industrial fishing is not just leatherback sea turtles, but it it's sharks and it's all kinds of animals and it's not sustainable. Activist Todd Steiner is pushing for more protection for leatherbacks around the world, especially since it's an animal that's outsurvived dinosaurs. It's like looking back into prehistory, into prehistoric times, just to see this incredibly gigantic and magnificent animal go by. They're beautiful. Some helpful progress is being made here off the coast of California with the curtailing of gillnet fishing and proposed legislation to phase it out, although the American fishing industry points to foreign operations as the bigger problem. Activists say more international cooperation around the Pacific Rim could better protect the leatherback population. More consumer awareness about sustainable seafood would also help. If we don't move at a more rapid pace, these animals will go extinct on our watch. Basically, we have 10 to 20 years left. We don't have a lot of time to you know, start the recovery. We gotta stop the decline first and then hopefully have a recovery. In Monterey, Nancy Liu, News Nation.